Hello and welcome back to goldstocktrades.com. Our guest today is Dr. Roger Steininger. Roger is Chief Operating Officer of New Legacy Gold Corp, which is exploring for gold in Nevada's Cortez trend. New Legacy can be traded as NUG on the TSX Venture, and it also can be traded as NULGF on the OTC. Roger speaking with us from Reno this morning. Roger, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for inviting me to uh, talk to you about New Legacy. Uh, I hope uh, what I can share with you today will inform your listeners about our company and the tremendous opportunities we have. Roger, before we get started on New Legacy and its projects, could you tell my listeners a little bit about your background in gold exploration, especially Nevada and especially the Cortez trend where your project is located today? Uh, Jeb, I have um, a Ph.D. in geology and over 40 years of experience in the mineral industry, um, most of which has been in Nevada. Uh, prior to uh, joining New Legacy, I worked for a couple of large mining groups uh, early in my career and then had a 20-plus uh, year experience uh, as a consulting geologist and worked for several large and junior companies, uh, one of which was Royal Gold. And Royal had acquired a property in Crescent Valley and asked me to uh, lead the exploration of that property. And this eventually uh, led to the discovery of the pipeline complex, which, as you know, contains over 21 million ounces of gold. Um, that was one of the highlights of my career, and um, in addition to that, I've spent a lot of time working uh, on various gold systems in Nevada, and a lot of that experience has been in the Cortez area. So I think I understand carlin-type gold deposits very well, understand geology of Nevada very well, and particularly the Cortez area where uh, Eric is having so much success with uh, discovering gold deposits, and we have our Red Hill property. Let's talk a little bit about the success of, of the Cortez trend, specifically the production and cash cost numbers that some of the majors that are producing on the Cortez trend now are extraordinary. Roger, what's it's, so special about the Cortez trend that the production and cash costs are so low? Well, um, the uh, three known gold deposits, the two that are in operation, Pipeline and Cortez Hills and the newly discovered uh, Gold Rush property, have similar geology. Um, they're very large gold systems. Uh, pipeline is over 20 million ounces. Cortez Hills uh, is probably eventually going to be a similar size as is Gold Rush. Uh, the grades are relatively high um, in the 2 to 4 gram range. They're near surface, uh, making a large portion of the deposit open pitable. Uh, much of the deposits are oxidized, uh, which uh, they can open uh, pit e pleach at a very cheap cost. And um, some of the deeper mineralization is what we call refractory ore, but uh, Barrick and Newmont both have facilities nearby to handle that kind of material. So uh, the economics and uh, uh, geology and, and mineability of these deposits is very good. In addition to that, um, there's great infrastructure in Nevada, uh, paved roads and electricity virtually to each of the properties, uh, a well-trained workforce that's available. Um, tax rates are reasonable in Nevada. The political climate is very good. The geology is right. It's just a great place to operate. And all this plays into uh, driving the cost of operations uh, to the lower um, end of the spectrum for uh, gold deposits. Roger, there's a series of very large gold deposits in the Cortez trend, but the one in the news lately is the success of Barrick's Gold Rush Discovery, which already hosts over 14 million ounces of gold, and it's growing. 
Your company, New Legacy, is adjacent to Gold Rush. What can you tell us about the Gold Rush deposit? How does it relate to what you're finding on your ground? Well, Gold Rush is just across the valley, about uh, two and a half miles uh, along Strike and the Cortez trend from our Red Hill property. Uh, the rocks that uh, host mineralization at Gold Rush are the same rocks that uh, contain gold uh, mineralization at uh, Red Hill. Uh, Barrick started exploring the property uh, a few years ago, uh, initially found uh, a couple million ounces of gold, grew that with additional work up to seven million ounces, and recently um, announced uh, a 14 million ounce resource, and that's uh, measured, indicating and deferred classification. But I think this is pretty typical of uh, the way these deposits grow. You you do some initial drilling, find some mineralization, keep stepping out on that, and these things uh, just become larger as you understand the geology and push it forward. Um, we uh, at Red Hill and our iceberg deposit are dealing with the same kind of geology that we see at Pipeline, at Cortez Hills, at Gold Rush. So over the last 10 years or so, we've learned a lot about these systems, and I'm able to apply that directly to what we're doing at Red Hill. That's helping us uh, with our exploration efforts and the discovery process that's going on. Let's talk about the discovery, what you're calling the iceberg deposit on your Red Hill pr project. Can you tell us a little bit more about that discovery? Well, we were fortunate to uh, be able to option uh, the Red Hill property from Barrick Gold. And with that, we inherited a, a really good historic database, uh, historic in, in nature of 43101 regulations that um, require that we treat it as historic, although it was uh, information that was uh, developed by uh, some significant companies uh, that explored the area in the past and by people I uh, know and, and respect and analytical work and drilling done by reputable companies. So I feel the data is very solid. We're able to build off that. And it uh, it has identified uh, an area of uh, gold mineralization in Devonian carbonate rocks geology very similar, as I said, to uh, Gold Rush, uh, Cortez Hills, and Pipeline. And that got me started. Um, the, the initial drilling we did in 2012 was to step off from some of this historic drilling, and that resulted in uh, several drill holes that identified good thicknesses and grades of gold mineralization that has been reported in our news releases. And this is classical Carlin-style gold mineralization um, in these carbonate rocks with the associated alteration and trace element package that uh, says that we're dealing with a very large area of Carlin-style gold mineralization. Our drilling this year, which we have just completed and uh, samples are in the lab now, uh, has stepped out further from these uh, the iceberg area and in an area to the north that we're calling North Iceberg uh, to test for bigger uh, areas of uh, gold mineralization and the geology I've seen to date looks very attractive. Uh, we have to wait for assays to confirm what's there. Roger, before we conclude, can you describe the agreement that you have with Barrick? It's so rare in the junior mining sector to have an agreement like this with one of the largest gold mining, with the, with the largest gold mining company in the world. Yes, it is. And uh, we have optioned an a package that's about 25 square miles. And um, Barrick, um, at the time that we optioned the property, uh, was, was very busy over Cortez Hills and uh, just starting to understand uh, that Gold Rush was a significant gold resource. Uh, so they were fully committed with uh, 
their programs there and other properties in Nevada. And essentially, they hired us to be their exploration arm. Uh, the deal we have uh, with them requires us to spend $5 million over five years to earn 70% interest. We've, uh, at the end of this year, we'll have spent approximately $2 million. Uh, we still have uh, three years to spend the remaining $3 million, after which um, we will have earned in the 70% interest on the property. Barrick then has a 90-day window to uh, decide whether to uh, earn back in or leave us at 70% and continue forward with a 70-30 joint venture. If Barrick decides to earn back in, uh, they need to spend $15 million over the next five years to earn back to 70% interest, leaving us with 30% interest, and that interest is carried to production so the new legacy will not have to put forth any additional funds until such time as production occurs. So it's, it's a very attractive deal for us. I think it separates us from a lot of the juniors in that uh, we have a partner that understands what we're doing. Uh, we're discovering gold and rocks uh, that's very similar to what they're working in uh, across the valley. Um, and I, I think at the end of the day, um, we'll be in a much better position than, than several of the other juniors who have to make a discovery and then find a partner. We have a built-in partner that uh, I think will carry the program forward. How was New Legacy able to secure such an advantageous deal with Barrick? Well, uh, as I said, uh, Barrick... Uh, was fully committed with other properties, so they didn't have the people to explore Red Hill. Um, I have had a, a very good uh, relationship with uh, the Barrick people. I, I know a lot of them. Um, they respect my work. They, they know that I was involved in the discovery of the pipeline deposit. And so it was a natural fit uh, with us to uh, uh, come together as partners. Um, they knew that uh, I was going to run an effective exploration program, and uh, were, uh, they're senior people, and I have been friends for a long time, so we've got a good line of communications going, and, and we can just uh, push the property forward, and they understand what we're doing. R Roger, thanks so much for joining us from Reno, Nevada today. Thank you very much for inviting me, and I hope uh, your listeners have a better understanding of... Uh, the legacy gold.